My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, I'll be showing you my 2020 lawn care and landscaping trailer setup video. Uh, this is a 7x14 enclosed trailer, and I do lawn care and landscaping out of this. Uh, it's set up to be a solo operator, but grow to a two or three man crew. And uh, let's get to it. Okay, here's my setup with my mower in it. You can see we've got a little bit of room on each side. And this is without the, the vac attachment, the bagger attachment, it barely fits in here. So you can see on a day-to-day -day operation how we've got the setup. Uh, these tools really will fit well here with the mower. The handles are tight against the wall on this side. And then normally I'll be keeping this side open. I left these attachments on just to show you a, a, an assortment and a variety of different attachments that I've looked at and used for different applications. Um, but generally this is kind of my walking path in and out of the trailer. And the way I really like to do my mowing is I come in the side door and I work off the side door and I come in the back door and I work off the back door. I don't usually leave the whole trailer open. I like to leave the back door closed. It's got marketing on it. Any cars driving by you can see my big logo on the back side of the door and it's, it's good marketing advertising. And I've seen a lot of incidences where vehicles have ran to the back of trailers and I'd rather that door be closed and it, it look like a trailer instead of uh, you know a little bit more concealed. I don't know why, Mo mostly just for advertising. Um, but a lot of what I do is designed for that kind of in and out the same door, whether it's the big back door or the side door here. Generally when I'm using these tools, this is on a landscape job and on my landscape jobs, I take my mower out. So it's really easy to uh, access those either from the back door or the side door uh, when I'm doing a landscape project. And they're here if I need to do an irrigation job real quick, repair, they're all right here. I can quickly grab whatever tool I need. Um, next to the door here, we've got a trimmer line. So I step in this door right here, I can get this trimmer line. So everything's right here from the door. I can reach in and grab my uh, mixed gas. If I need to lock the trailer up, locks right here. Amp lock is the one I use day in and day out. I've got my um, trailer chocks. I've got chains to go on the, the trailer. If I have a flat, I can use this uh, to, to jack up the trailer. I have a separate video on that. Um, as well as this works good for uh, the trailer tongue, but I've got an alternative solution now. Um, my spare tires are tucked up underneath here. I've got this spare tire and the full size spare for the trailer. Um, and I've got my cones. All of this is right here, easy to access. As well as the other thing I use pretty frequently is my edger attachment. So this is the Echo PAS system. And this edger attachment comes right off. Pull it out, put it back in. Right there, quick and easy. Um, as well as the hedge trimmer, not as easily accessible. I don't use it very often, um, but it's right there and easy and out of the way. Next, coming in this door, again, the mower will be parked here. I can come in here and easily grab my backpack blower. I can grab my trimmer. And I don't generally have the backpack sprayer in here, but that can be easily accessed too. So we'll go ahead and pull the mower out so we've got a little more room. We'll close the side door so we don't have as bad a wind. And we can show you kind of the operation of these different items. We also have um, the, the leaf rake up top here. So there's kind of a quick overview. And then we'll get more detailed in all the different A-Track attachments, how they work, what I'm using, why I'm using it. So this is season number two. Uh, trailer reconfiguration number two and um, so after last year reconfiguring it for uh, my setup and my day-to-day -day use I use these shock straps and I added these uh, tie downs right here I love this option it's great works excellent this side I use the loops on and the back side I actually use the hooks Try and get out of the wind here. So this is my Grasshopper 322D mower. This is a 2005, so over 10 years old. This thing has low hours. Picked it up with about 800 hours on it, and I've put about 400 on it in the last year. And it, this thing is a beast. Excellent, doesn't get stuck. Uh, it's got really wide tires on the rear, so floats really well. And I've taken it through conditions I probably should not have, and it just keeps going. Next up, we've got 
all my different tool attachments. I've got a couple different rows of E-Tracks for the different height things. This one on the bottom is not really necessary. I was gonna do individual hooks around each thing, but I ended up doing just one large uh, bungee cord around there. So that is an option. I probably could have put a hook on this end and a hook there, but it works really well. I found out these, a lot of these fittings I picked up new this year are from snaprack.com. Some of my older fittings, if you watch my other E-Track video, are the older stuff I picked up from a, a number of different places. Amazon, E-Trailer, Northern Tool. Um, but Snaprack really had some good options that I, I used this go around when I went to order. So this one I think worked well for the brooms. And this broom is intentionally bent. <laughs> That's not broken. Um, so I usually have two brooms here. And this can fit four or five shovels pretty easily on that taller section. And then these ones, again from snaprock.com, work really well for the picks. Alternate the direction and they uh, hold really well. And then I've got this style, again, on the sledgehammer, nice and beefy. Uh, so all of these three are the same. And then I really liked these wire ones for the, the rakes. They seem to slide better and work better for the rakes. I've also got a, a sprinkler key on here as well. And that thing barely fits in here. I've got my trenching shovels. And the nice thing with these E-Track things is they come pre-drilled and so you can actually rotate them. So I can actually unbolt these from the back side. Let's see if we can... We're getting distracted before we even started. So here's your uh, blower tube bracket. And you can see here, you just got a bolt in there, and it's got like two little uh, washer things that are in there, and then there's two new holes, so you can actually switch the directions. So that's one configuration doing the sideways tube, which works great for this blower tube. But I actually have this other blower going this way, and it's in the opposite configuration. So a lot of these uh, snap rack uh, things can be configured in the opposite direction. Okay, that's a pretty good summary for that wall. I uh, picked up this Byers, where's the logo at? The Byers uh, trimmer rack holder, and this is the Oregon line. Picked that up last year, it's been great. And the way I've got this mounted is just on a, another piece of wood mounted to my wall. My wall's really thin, like quarter inch, and I added a three quarter inch, so this is a little bit more beefy and uh, not coming off the wall here. Okay, a lot of upgrades with E-Tracks this year. Out of this E-Tracks on this wall, again, same type of setup where I used the, the three-quarter plywood on top of the quarter, screwed it in a bunch of different places all the way down uh, so that E-Tracks doesn't pull out of the wall. There are no studs here. There's a stud here and the stud there, so I couldn't uh, use self-tapping screws on that. This is a trimmer rack holder or paper towel holder. Obviously, I haven't even opened this yet. Um, but there's that configuration. I also picked up a uh, fire extinguisher from Amazon. I'm glad to finally have that in the trailer. I need to get one in the truck as well. This front setup is pretty much how I had it last year with the two shelves. They work really well except for that top one. It does not work when I have my ladder in here. So that has to be removable which is why we've got these notched out. So I have to unscrew this. A little bit of extra work. I need, still need a, to work on that. But we're in the heat of the season now. So these E-Tracks is what holds that up. If you want to check out that previous video, how that's set up. Added this E-Tracks for that front tire. And that just has, that tire has a snap rack um, tire holder um, on both of these. You can see here, they just thread right in. I don't use a 121 inch very often. This is an old beat up unit I picked up for my last house before I even started the business and it just keeps going. I hardly even take care of it. Um, so it's just strapped up front here. Um, again, these are shock straps, uh, really expensive straps. I don't recommend getting these cam lock style ones, uh, but they work great for this purpose where it's just quick and easy. And then the, the one thing I recommend if, if you don't want to pay 50 bucks for a strap, um, I, maybe they're not that expensive, but they are pretty expensive is these things are amazing. So they just go on the end here and you can just hook them on, you can, you can configure them on just about any strap and they keep it from falling off. So that works perfect up here on the mower. It won't come off that hook. It won't come off the mower here. It stays on really well. Um, so the cam rack, the cam straps, I wouldn't recommend, but these, these other style, 
these two by fours simply don't work for me. They kind of give it a place to set, but that's it. Uh, my e brakes broken on my mower, and it's just these these straps are amazing. I have gone, I've taken this trailer through places it shouldn't, and this thing just holds it down. Too quick, really easy, and they because of the shock strap, they hold on to the machine really well. Um, they also have these little hooks, so if you do uh, do it in the loop position, those will stay hooked on really well as well. On the back side, like I said, I just use the hooks. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling. We're getting a little bit distracted. Uh, here is a, a water cooler holder, so a five-gallon water cooler. I, I don't, this is obviously not where it's going to go. It doesn't fit here. I think what I want to do, and I just haven't had time this season, is I want to add another e-track right here, and I want to put that water cooler right here. It'd be close to the door again, uh, and but still kind of out of the way and out of our walking and working area. This is for a uh, grease gun. I actually moved that from the trailer into the toolbox in the truck because I needed it for when I had equipment and it, it didn't see a use in the trailer very often. So water cooler holder, right now I'm just using that to hold my lock. I found if I leave this lock on the door outside, it will uh, bang up the door. The back door, I leave the lock on there, um, but this front door, I have to do it this way. So as far as this edger attachment, I use this uh, hook from Snap Rack. Snap Rack has this blower tube hook, which worked really well for this hedge trimmer to hold this in here. Um, this is a this is my old blower holder rack that I used uh, previous to my new one, and that worked perfect for uh, holding the other side of this. And then this is just sitting on top of that tire there. This blower works so much better. Just this tube it makes a big difference, and this hook works really well too. So I just pull this off, pull it out. This does have the ability to put bungees around here if you need to bungee it on. Um, but I don't need that. It works perfect without. Just slide this up there. Put it right back on. Easy peasy. So I had similar trimmer rack holders on the old setup and I hated them because they were really pain in the butt to use. And when I picked up these, they were a little bit too floppy. And I was worried that this is just going to bounce right out. And I haven't had a single problem with it yet. So I, this is really easy. I pulled this side off. Slide it off. Pull it down. Same procedure going back in. It's ready to go. So I've been, I've been really pleased with this upgrade. Uh, and this is again that snaprack.com design. And I've got my 56RC down here. I don't use this very often. In fact, I think I need to replace this. Uh, we'll do a different video on that. And this little uh, 2520 blower by Echo. We gotta do another video on this. I have not been pleased with this unit. I'll do a full review on that and what, what I don't like about it. But right now I've got this set up here just for uh, kicks and giggles, but this is not operational at the moment. Um, but just for configuration, hooks on there, hooks on there. This is the same hook that I've got over there. So a lot of the same hooks work on these different things. And then this I actually tried out just today. We'll see how this holds up. Um, this is that trimmer rack holder. Um, but I like how this holds this in better here. Uh, one thing with this pump sprayer is when you pump it, this mechanism goes up high. And so it was causing contact with the seller to style design. So I was a little worried about that. So the one I, the thing I don't like about this style is it holds it so far away from the wall. The other option is, is this style hook. And you can do that with the back brace with the bungees or you can do that just separate by itself. So here's it on that style one. And this would be a situation where I'd want to use bungees because I don't use this very often. Might be nice to secure that to the wall. The backpack blower, I get that used every single job almost. So this one holds it, again, a little bit closer to the wall, a little bit nicer um, as far as that. But the, where the handle rides is not as nice. And like I said, it's a little bit taller, and I worry about jacking up that mechanism in there. So I'm, I'm going to try this one out for, for now and see how well that works. Another thing that I really liked from their website was these shelf brackets. I, I tried these shelf brackets and they're too permanent for me. These ones are a little bit more uh, versatile and the fact that you screw this bracket onto the bottom of your shelf and then you just unpin this and you can take the shelf off and then you can unsnap the whole, the whole shelf on the wall and remove it. So with shelves, I wanted something like that. I'll probably end up doing something with this for my Christmas lights. I don't really need that for my landscape business and it's also in the way of the mower and there's not really a good place in here to do shelves other than up front there. Anywhere I would put shelves would be a problem. Let's move up front here. Um, 
I use these milk crates, which work really well. And what I like using these for is putting oils in here so they're not rolling around. This shelf is only tall enough to kind of keep things from sliding out. It's not going to be tall enough to keep uh, quart jugs or anything from falling off there. So these items work really well up here. I've got my Olsa Tools extendable uh, breaker bar and uh, my socket for my tires so I can easily change my tires. I roll a front tire or whatever tire is not flat up on that. Um, these 2x4 blocks or 2x6, 2x8, whatever. Roll it up on there. I can pull off the, the lug nuts with this. I got my spare right there. All quick and easy to go. Out front here I've got all my safety gear. I've got extra shirts. These are from Ewing. I uh, picked this up with their contractor program. It's got my company logo on it, my phone number. Uh, it's great when we go out to lunch. I'll have people come up and ask my, you know, ask us what our company is, if we do landscaping and all, all sorts of stuff. So we've got safety glasses up here, we've got ear protection, all of the all the stuff. We've got face protection for when we're cutting uh, paper blocks, zip ties. We just got miscellaneous stuff up here, gloves. And then in here we've kind of got miscellaneous stuff too. We've got little hedge printers and, and tire kits and safety tape and tape measures and duct tape and, and more zip ties. I also have a bunch of ratchet straps in here. The other tube for the Echo, uh, extension cord, and these huge bags. These things are awesome. So you can see I've got the big garbage can up here and the big bags. It uh, works great. If I'm doing green stuff, I'll, I'll green bag it and then I'll, I'll dump the waste. Or if it's just normal garbage, I'll, I'll bag it up. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have seen these before. We've got these little clip things. These have never fallen off. I, I love it. Leaf Lake's pretty light, but works really well. I did think about using these. I don't have any right now, and I didn't want to go shopping at Home Depot with the coronavirus. But I, I was thinking of using these type of clamps uh, for the edger attachment. I think that would have worked well for that as well. Well, I think it's a pretty good summary. I mean, that's kind of my trailer setup, what I use, why I use it. Uh, it's a little bit different setup than most guys have. I'm a solo operator for the most part, but when I get a bigger job, I'll pick up uh, temp uh, temp workers. Uh, I wasn't planning on being solo this year because uh, I was going to grow the business, grow another guy or two. Um, I, I hired some guys last year and, and they were part time back and forth. And um, But I like having my trailer set up for solo. It's, it's really set up well for solo. And when you add a person, it doesn't ruin it. But if you have your, your trailer set up for two or three man crew and then you go solo off of that, I don't feel like it functions as well. So I think this really works well to grow off of but also stay small. And with the coronavirus, I'm just running one guy per truck. So uh, that's what we've got to set up right now and we'll keep you updated. I'll probably do a end of season review or, or next year what I do and why I do it. But I think the setup's really gonna work well after uh, you know, kind of our R&D from last year. You can walk through here pretty easily. It's not crazy bad. So my initial review video on these these uh, tie-down hooks, I wasn't a big fan of these huge loops. And this is a massive loop, but they work perfect for this type of situation. Um, the little rubberized coating on these is not perfect. Uh, after a year's worth of, not even a full year worth of use, I, I ripped it off on some of these and it just, just works better without. These ratchet straps are kind of dummy proof because you just, most people don't know you have to give it slack. But with these, it, it has this built in slack, so you're able to tighten it up and then ratchet it. And it still has enough room to wrap it around there. It's got good tension and it's not going to bounce loose because of that strap's built in as well. Wow, I feel like that was exhausting. I hope I hope that was a good video. Um, a lot of trial and error went into this setup and what, what I do and why I do it. I hope that helps other people set up their trailers. Um, so yeah, there you go, my 2020 uh, lawn care setup video, lawn care and landscaping.